Hello, everybody. This is J.W. Reed Jr. here with National Live Scan Association. Today is a 10th cup today, a 10th series we had, or 10th program we had to the public regarding different tips and trade, how to energize your business, and also get you started going down the right or best path. And I have to go ahead and recognize them, Live Scan Cafe Cup. That's this. It's not the Big J Cup. I always have one standing by here. And, of course, the Cookie Monster, this one's for me. Brother loves his chocolate chip cookies. All right. So if those got the cup, cup up to you guys there. You might have a little special something, something when you got this here. But the day is Saturday for us, early Saturday morning. So I got myself some nice, warm, or hot tea. Love those cup of knowledges. All right. Let's get started here. Last time we talked about workflow processes just from an introductory level regards to how you can fingerprint from home, from an office, mobile services, where the case may be, but just more like an introduction regarding work for process. Just for those who haven't heard the term before, um, it's pretty much how you can stay productive in creating your, your business value um, throughout the day, week, month, or year. Whole nine, whole nine things there. Oh, we got an early good morning. A big, oh, I'm sorry. She did work. Okay, uh-oh. We got a cold blue here, folks. Just joking, just joking. I can't find my big Jake. Somebody swiped my big Jake. Oh, they jealous. Somebody took my big J cup. Oh man, what good morning out there, Miss Um <laughs> Good morning out there. I want to brag my big Jake. They took my cup. Oh, they jealous. They are that's okay. We here. We're gonna be okay. All right, let's go ahead and jump back into some things here. They can't keep me down. I'm always prepared. Always got a good thing going on here. Always, always, always got a good thing going on. Let's talk about some good things here. A couple of questions for you folks out there. Listen to the live stream and please enter your comments below. I just want to know, is your company taking control over you? What I mean by that, do you find yourself getting bogged down more and more of the ordained task? Mundane task. The task to keep you busy all the time that you don't want to do but it has to get done, but it's not putting money in your pocket today. Is your company taking control over you? Now, how do you feel about that? Do you feel a little bit overwhelmed? Does it happen a lot more and more? I sound like one of those coffee cup commercials. They're one of those commercials. If it does, for $10.99, eh, it's a crazy day. But um, it's a 10th anniversary today for the Live Skin Cafe for those joining us for the first time here. And it's a good thing. It's a 10th session. So it's a good thing here, made to the public here. But pretty much, are you feeling overwhelmed right now? Is it happening more and more often? What's eating up most of your time? What is it? If you're starting off doing a fingerprinting business, we talked about this before in past series about being productive, being busy. But right now, you should tell us if you saw the last cup, which is cup number nine, regarding the live scan flow process or fingerprinting flow process. What's keeping you busy all the time? What's taking most of your time? If you saw the last series, hopefully by now, you went ahead and write down some notes to identify what's keeping you busy all the time, what's keeping you productive, what's eating up most of your productivity time where it's not being productive. What is it? Do you know what it is? Okay, for those who missed the last session here, let's circle back here for a few things. The three main bullet points we can talk about just my last session. And once again, it was cup number three nine for the uh, live scan flow series right there that was series number one this one here is series number two we talked about briefly about task management system do you have a task management system if you have it share it with us let us know what it is do you know what a task management system is do you have a business plan do you have a um a to-do list or a task or some type of process to get things done during your business hours what are you using is it an appointment scheduling system? Is it going to be some type of to-do list? Is it going to be some type of Google Sheets or something like that or a combination above? What is your system? If you don't have one, go back, please, and listen to the first series they have with this one here for cup number nine and get started on that one there. Do you put your stuff together, your thoughts together, your business plan together, your workflow process together the day ahead of time? Or are you waiting until the very last second that morning to figure out what's going to happen today at your place of business or that evening? Do you have something like that? 
Are you doing your work process a week ahead of time and planning for the further a uh, week ahead of time? Or how about a month ahead of time? How about a year ahead of time? What project you be doing month by month by month? Or all of the above. Our goal is to get you guys to go from, from day at a time to weekly to monthly to annually. So put down your process, put down your projects ahead of time and work on them. Now they're gonna change along the way, but something just to think about. And this session here is not to go in detail on how to get this done, just to introduce you guys or get you guys to revisit these certain tasks or concepts that help grow your business. Like I said before, are you writing things down ahead of time? The day before, night before, are you prioritizing this? And this is coming in the last session, just revisiting it here right now. Are you documenting your process on a regular basis, taking notes? Are you having things, uh, hold on for a second here. Things like this right here, we're writing things down. Now this is full. Trust me, there's not blank pages in here, but this is pretty full. And um, it's a good process to get started with, but I graduated to a better process of taking notes and keeping them organized for me. And let's go ahead here. Got another question here. Pop this up right here. Oh, thank you so much there. Appreciate that. Make us proud. The next celebration will be the 25th series here. Be some good information there. All right, let's go back over here. Get back where we left off at here. All right. Basically, what a, a workflow is, is effective, an effective workflow helps manage and organize your operation. That's the best way to put it. It's a process to help manage and organize your operation. Right now, you might start off as a solopreneur or a person working by yourself, fingerprinting. And your productivity work might be you fingerprinting when people come to office and you fingerprint them. But it's going to get to a point, and hopefully it does, you get to the point where your process needs to change and grow. And if you're working by yourself, operating by yourself, you, know, you need to have a lot more processes put in place. And eventually you need to get some assistance to work for you, to help you out. Where that productivity work right now, while you're fingerprinting somebody, it's going to be the busy work where someone else is fingerprinting why are you trying to get more business for your organization? Why trying to get these special projects put together there to get your business to grow? Why are you trying to have more services to your business to increase the bottom line? So your goal is to get the productivity fingerprinting part done to a point it's called busy work. It has much to do it for you. Why focus on other bigger projects to bring some additional revenue? Now let's talk about for today's main series here. Um, let me keep it short, sweet, and simple. I got a ton of builder points to talk about here. I'm not going to go in detail, but I want you guys to write these down as you can because I will talk fast because my time is limited today. Monetary value of your time. Monetary value of the time. What does that mean? You need to prioritize your work where you're doing your processes. You're getting paid. You need to identify what part of those processes that you wrote down, what part of those tasks that you're doing or those projects that you're doing could be monetized. What's it going to be? You need to figure out what that is. I'm going to pause for college right here for a second, break up my notes here, because I have a whole bunch of notes here. Um, I got a whole bunch, a, a whole bunch. And what we're going to do for later on for our members only is share this, what's in JW's head right here, in a free class or a few classes for those who are active members of the association. So we got this information here broken down more details. When I start writing things down, I don't stop writing on how to uh, do a workflow process for live scan, also for ink, car fingerprinting. Okay, where's the particular thing that? Okay, here we go. All right, we're getting started here, man. We, we're getting started. Get your coffee cups ready. For the next 20 to 25 minutes, please break out your pen and paper. Start taking notes. Because I'm not going to circle back. It's called a replay. You can listen to it later on. I'm going to start this flow. I'm going to start this work process flow just for you guys because it is a 10 session here for live skin cafe so buckle up and hold on tight because i'm about to get this party started here all right monetary value of your time what does that mean you need to list down the daily stuff you're going to be doing on a regular basis to help you produce income if you haven't done already or we've done it before revisit this here the value might have changed since then you still may make money doing certain tasks but focus on other tasks you could be doing to bring a greater reward towards your business. So think about that. 
what does that mean? You might do something, you might have a service where you're charging one dollar for ink card because back in 1901, everyone was paying one dollar per ink card. I'm just guessing how it went back then. Um, but right now, you need to revisit those situations where times has changed now. Now it's 2021 when we made this video right here, you might want to revisit that prices of those and help monetize your services differently. It might be a price increase to increase your revenue or price decrease to get more foot traffic to your business. Either way, there's something you got to decide. Perhaps monetize your vibe by adding extra services. They might come to you for ink card fingerprinting, and this is a bonus. This is a hack. And once you fingerprint them on the ink card, sometimes they want you to go ahead, take the ink cards for them, and FedEx them or send them off to a different agency because they don't have time to think to they don't have time to go ahead and mow off themselves. They might not want to go down the postal service or the FedEx building or UPS store to do this here. So the way to monetize your business, how about some add-ons, different services? FedEx services, we could FedEx a package for them, or I don't say a package an envelope or some ink cards, or priority mail. And if you don't have a FedEx account, you should get one yesterday because usually what happens with fedex to give you a business a discount where you cost you less versus the person walking to fedex paying a lot more for that service and then you go ahead and add additional services some people call it markup the additional service or your time and value to get it done and they pay for that convenience convenience they were paid for that convenience so think about that process there monetary value monetary value of your time all right Number two, identify the major projects and regular tasks. This comes from you writing down, if you listen to the last series they had, of what you're doing on a daily basis. You don't have to write down every single sec. Oop, I got up and checked the email. Oop, I got up and did my cell phones or whatever case may be, or got my coffee cup right here. But pretty much I recommend like every hour you stop and take like a five minute quick break and write down what was done the past hour. If you wait to end of the day, you might remember some of the things, but you won't remember the small things you've done in between then. So we recommend at least every hour to two hours, take a pause for the cause and write down what you've done or write down what your team is doing. I have them write down an extra five minutes out of the break time what they've done so far. It could be on paper. It could be in some type of electronic device. But whatever it is, write that down. Every hour for a first week. At the end of that week, you go back and revisit all that there. And you need to identify the major projects and the regular task. Can you outsource those tasks? And this one is a very, very important one regarding doing your workflow process. And like I said, we're not going to go in detail about all of this here. It's a project in itself, it's a course within itself. But please, Identify the major projects and the regular tasks. Now, these would change as your business starts to develop. Take off in other directions or enhance this um, or go ahead and build in different services. But you need to identify this as quickly as possible and focus on how you're going to address the issue. How you're going to prioritize the workload. How you're going to segment out some of your workflow to get this done, to, tra um, to do it. And I, my way, and other people saw it, call it, um, a different way versus segmenting it out. I like to see it more like um, a block scheduling system. Now, I'm gonna take a, a minute here for this one here. I had a couple of discussions in the past, and some folks might know our Letha and their team over there at Unpoint Alliance. We talk about this on a regular basis, and other folks too, uh, how we should schedule out time to get certain things done. Do you want to sit there all day long, answer the phone? You might have to start an off come out all you have no foot traffic yet, but schedule a time to return calls, schedule a time to check your emails, schedule a time to work on your website. But look at your past week of tasks and projects and organize it and prioritize it. It's very important. You need to get this done. And this is going to change on a regular basis, but you need to get this done. And you got to figure out down the line. How are you going to record this and manage it? Are you going to use a to-do list? Are you going to use some type of appointment scheduling system? Are you going to use a regular pen and paper? Are you going to use a whiteboard? Are you going to use Google Docs? What are you going to do? You need to start looking at that stuff right now. And don't wait till tomorrow. You should start working on it yesterday. 
the only way to enhance your business and most all successful businesses have a workflow process. And they're always going back to revisit these issues they have and challenges they have to make it better along the way. You need to have that. It's very, very important. You need to have that there. All right, we got a shout out from Candace here. Good morning, Candace. How you doing out there? It's doing pretty good. Make them brother feel good today. Got a bunch of love out there. So welcome to the family here. Appreciate that there. Um, another thing to think about there. When you plan out your workflow, when you take things in consideration, when you work on your on-point scheduling system, or your on-point, I'm thinking on-point alliance. Uh, when you work on your scheduling system, are you going to book your clients back to back to back to back? Or are you going to fix it where they can have some little space in between? They may come to your location or may go to them to fingerprint, but do you have some wiggle room? What if you get there and they tell you they need one ink cart for 10 people? But what you get there is three ink cards for 10 people. Did you plan enough time on your mobile services? Write this down, some free hacks. Did you plan enough time for the good things like this versus one card per person is three? Has it happened to us before? Quite often. So did you buffer in the extra time, some wiggle room to make sure this gets done? Did you buffer in some time when they come to your location for a live scan, they might come there not prepared. They might come there looking for the paperwork might be on yourself cell phone. You might have to print it out. But for some time right there to take that consideration. When you plan that your task for the next day, give yourself some buffer room. Things will slip to cracks. Things will pop up. There'll be some fires popping up all the time. So give yourself some wiggle room to get things done. We are only human, which is a good thing. So give us some time to adjust along the way. If you make it too stringent, it's going to break. Give us some wiggle room. All right. The only way to get started doing this is to write things down. Like I mentioned earlier, it's very important. I showed you guys earlier on how we write things down. For me, I got books and I got too much of these floating, which is a good thing for everybody else. Good way to write things down. Just write it down for that day. What I recommend as you want to move up the ladder there. It's something like this, a rocket book. They get them on Amazon, and they're very good to have. And the reason why is you can get to the point where you're going to have a whole bunch of these just floating around, papers all around your desk, and you can't find it real fast, or, you, you know, it just builds and builds and builds. It's not being recorded to a digital format, which it should be. This is a good thing to have. It doesn't waste paper. It comes like 25 or 30 sheets, and it's erasable. So as you feel like your task you're done for that particular day, enter to the system, or computer system, sometimes to digitize it, and you go back and erase it. Okay? Now, if you get one of these here with erasable ink, which is, this comes for this is for erasable ink pens, don't keep it in the hot sun because it will fade. In this case, it happens, just stick it someplace cold, like someplace kind of cold in the plastic bag in the refrigerator, it'll come back. But this is very good to have and write down your daily task. It forces you to document it here. It has little dots for each page with nice and neat with bullet points and stuff where you're able to record it at the end of that day or the next day, transcribe information into your list that you're working with for your process. And then erase it and go back or keep writing in the whole book for the whole week, record it into the system you have, your work for a process system. And matter of fact, what do you guys have out there? Let us know what you use right now for your productivity. If you have one going on right now, or what do you recommend? Add the comment section below and let us know. But that's a good thing to use. Now, for those who took some of our courses in the past and recently, we migrated over to a new process, and we can't we can share it with those who are members. For those not members, you get to become a member of National Alliance Consultant Association and see what we're using now for an online format of recording our tasks our to-do list, our special projects, everything you can think of in a nice, organized fashion. And it's very good to have. It works on your tablets, your cell phones, your desktop computers. It's very good. And it's kind of expensive. Free. But then as you scale up, you can pay for some more of the other services that come with it there, more space and things like that. Now, if you find this information good, 
Let us know in the comment section below. I got to keep saying this comment section stuff below because we need people to engage and make sure they are benefit from this one here. And it gives us an ideal what we should share with you guys in the additional and more series, more series down the line. So please, if you find this interesting, you find this coffee cup flowing of knowledge, let us know. Give us a shout out. We do appreciate that. Now, that piece, that part of the section pretty much ended at the point right there. And I'm looking for the time so far, how much time I have left. I have a couple of bonuses to share with folks out there. Two bonuses for right now. And you guys ready? Get your cups ready. Man, I'm having fun today. I just don't want to keep, I want to keep on talking, but I know I can't. But I'm giving you guys two bonuses. And these were added on this morning, so they don't know about it, but I'm going to give them to you anyway. All right, bonus number one, take advantage of small pockets of time. For example, this morning here, while we were getting ready for this live streaming session, we went ahead and printed out our workflow process for the rest of the day for those who come in and get fingerprinted. We have technicians come to our office who are our members to fingerprint the public. And some of those folks are still receiving training with this, hands on train with the social distancing involved, of course, but we work with them sometimes to come to the office with their fingerprint paying clients along the way. So what I did myself this morning, I went ahead and printed out the schedule for this morning. I looked at every single appointment that came in for this morning here. And it only took me five minutes to get it done. So we print out the workflow for everybody who comes in today who's going to fingerprint who they have to work on, their schedule. And also, also anything that's uploaded with the appointment that they did use any paperwork they brought up, they, um, they scheduled, how should I put it? When they schedule a line, we have a service where they're able to upload the forms ahead of time. That way they, we could print this out. They're not really touched or contaminated or anything like that. So we also print those out also. So now the technicians have the schedule for the day. They have the attachment that came with it, with the forms that be filled out for the live scan or for the in-car fingerprinting ahead of time, like the ID verification form for in-car fingerprinting or the live scan and press form for those getting live scan done. All that's already done and set up for the day before the doors open up here in another hour from now. So please take advantage of the small pockets of time. That could be from three to five minutes. So why are you waiting for something to get done? Why are you waiting to have some things printed out? Or why are you waiting for one thing or another? Take advantage of this wait time. Don't just sit there and just pull your thumbs. Find something you can do right then there and get it out your way. It could be a large project, but break it down in pieces and get something done real fast. Go through your rocket book and start in some information, in the, you know, into these couple of hours in the system, what you've done last week or what you've done the night before, or what the case may be. Go ahead and check your workload for the rest of the day. They might come to you. You don't want to be surprised. They schedule for a live scan, but they put down the notes they want in-car fingerprinting. Or they schedule for a service there and they realize they schedule for the wrong thing. Or perhaps there's one person that has appointments for three different live scans for the same day. Find out the reason why. Perhaps they're trying to counsel other two and didn't know how to counsel other two. But do something those next five or ten minutes you can call small pockets of time to keep yourself engaged. Be productive. That's how you can work on your workflow. Just don't let the time go by. Well, you do should take a break, but still, why are you waiting for something else to get done? Multitask. Get something small you can get done right away. Walk around, stretch your legs for five minutes, what the case may be. Just don't sit there idle. Be productive. Please be productive. Oh, you're welcome there. We appreciate that there. Bonus number two. And I find this one here very, very important, extremely important. When you work on your workflow process, when you have the schedule, you got your blog time, your productivity time, things has to be productive. You as the CEO of your organization, you as the founder of your organization, you as the president of your organization need to have some time just for yourself to do CEO work. That means you're rolling up your sleeves, and getting things done. I'm about to say a different word. Um, getting things done. Block it out. If you're one of the project managers, one of the senior managers organization, or the case may be, 
or you got somebody helping you out do certain projects, block out those times. And I call your time the CEO slot. Block out the CEO slot. It could be for three or four hours every Wednesday morning or three or four hours every Tuesday evening or something like that or twice a week or something like that. Block out those hours and focus on things that you need to get done being productive. Focus on things like to be bring out your creativity skills and work on services where you can bring in more revenue to your business. Focus on how to add um, in-cart fingerprinting to your business. Focus on how to bring in live scan. Focus on how to do, um, what else? Passport photos. Where the case may be, focus on something you as a CEO to make sure this can make your business take the leap forward the right direction. The right direction. Not backwards, but the right direction. But you need to focus on time. At least four hours I recommend because that, that way it makes sure you're not being disturbed. Let folks know that you're unavailable and you can't be disturbed. Turn off your cell phone. Don't check your emails. When you check your cell phone, that's a distraction. That's open up the door to stuff out there that can slow you down and get you distracted. It's open the door to some bad news. I got a flat tire. You know, I'm 50 miles away. Can you pick me up because I can't? I'm too cheap to do something else. Whatever the case may be, you need those four hours for yourself. At least four hours out of a week minimum. But making them blocks, not just a half hour here, a half hour there. You need to get those juices flowing and give yourself a block of time and you stick with it. That way you know how your schedule is going to be. That CEO block of time. That's very, very important. All right, what's your favorite productivity tools? Let us know. Any suggestions, tips, let us know. We'd like to hear what you guys have. Are you using right now spreadsheets, Google, Microsoft spreadsheets, Excel? What it is, what you're using? Are you using your cell phone for everything? Do you have two separate cell phones, one for your personal, one for your business? Whatever you do, when you start to grow your business, do not give out your personal cell phone number to your clients. Do not give out your personal cell phone number to your clients. Have a business cell phone. Do not write that. Matter of fact, hold on for a second. We'll put this down here also. Make this hack number three. This is the bonus number three here. Make sure I put this in writing. I can't type that fast, but bear with me here. Bonus number three. Do not give out your cell phone number. You don't understand why? Give it out and see what happens later on. I promise you, they'll come back to you real fast why you shouldn't do that. Where did they go? Bam, there it is. Do not give out your cell phone number. To some clients, you could do it, but not to all of them. You need to let them know that you have a business line. If it's your cell phone, get a different number, please. There's certain services you can use where you can match your private cell phone number and give them a business number. They're going to be texting you, calling you 24-7, and it's going to mess up your workflow process. And some of that workflow process might be called sleeping at night or sleeping when you get home from work, where the case may be. Do not give out your cell phone number to all your clients. If the case there, it might be fine if it's a work cell phone number, but your private one, you might want to quit doing that down the line. It's not the best thing to do. Some folks, yes, but not all of them. That's right. I'm sorry. Do not give out your personal cell phone number. Thank you. She's right. Let's keep that one out there. We're going to use that one there. That is absolutely right. Okay, then. What else we have here? My notes here. All right. In, in closing up here. Basically, the whole objective is for you to do the things you need to do so you can do the things you want to do. Do the things you need to do so you can do so you can do what you want to do. Having a workflow and process put in place and you keep tweaking along the way will get you there. You don't want to get to a part where you be so productive, you have all this extra time. You do it for your time to be with your family and friends and loved ones. We don't recommend take the time you freed up to put more work on your plate. That's not having a life. 
that goes back to the first question we asked you guys early on then. You don't want that to happen. Okay, and that was this right here. Is the company taking control over you? So be productive, but be smart. We want you to show how you can increase your productivity, make it better services for your customers, to free you up some time to be productive, but also some time to answer your why. And the why was, why did you get in the business to begin with? Why are you interested in starting your own fingerprint business? To have more time with your friends and family, your loved ones, get more revenue in before they could pay for their colleges, but enjoy those times with them. Not to be stuck at the office 24-7 all the time. It's going to happen sometime, but not all the time. So the goal is to be productive, increase your revenue, but at the same time, spend some time for yourself and your loved ones. Okay, that's it for today. Our next session for workflow productivity is going to focus on home-based environments. Just keep that in mind. For series number three in the final series will be the next one for a home-based environment regarding your workflow process. Have any questions down the line, go ahead and reach out to us. We'd like to hear from everybody out there. If you're interested in joining the National Live Scan Association, we, you should. You really should. Just go to livescanmembership.com. That's livescanmembership.com. And like I mentioned, this is a live streaming session. Our goal is in the next, within the next 60 days, have a free training session for our members regarding the workflow process. It's going to be a lot more itemized, more on a granular level, step by step by step, working from your home, mobile services, or even from an office, physical office at a commercial building. We're going to focus on the workflow process. And this is part of the service we offer our members, active members in the association there. And to learn more about the association, just give us a call. And let me show you that. I should take that back here. Where did it go? Because they told me to put saying give a call. They said to go ahead and just schedule for a session. Here it goes. Livescanchat.com. Livescanchat.com. I'd like to schedule a 15-minute call with one of our member ambassadors to learn more about the association. All right. And what you do right now is schedule for the next session we have for Livescan Cafe. Go ahead and RSVP at livescancafe.com. And we go ahead and see you guys on the other side there. Please be safe, have fun, and look at other videos that we have for you guys because there's good information there. It's good for upcoming events. I'm going to go ahead and push the fancy buttons again here. Get out your guys' way. We love you guys. Be safe out there. Stay productive. And see you on the other side there. All right. Where did that video go? I'm looking for it. I found it. Take care.